one of the things that are magnetic about Francis, he's just authentically himself. And you can see a joy uh, that he has that, that's real. And, and that's communicated uh, by his big smile, by his warm embrace, by his going, breaking off the protocols and going out to pick up a child or to hug uh, uh, someone in a wheelchair. Uh, you know, he's, he's a great emphasis throughout his priesthood and as a bishop and archbishop in Buenos Aires on the poor. Uh, not, not just the materially poor, but the spiritually poor, uh, the, those who are on the edges. And he's constantly, um, uh, he, he's not just risen to the obligations of his, his office as a leader of the Catholic Church, but as a world leader um, who speaks from a, a value point of view. Not, and I think that's what we see the, the Pope doing. And that's why there's a great admiration. He doesn't do things for, for certainly personal advantage, but, but even for the advantage of our church, he, he, he does it for the sake of the common good. With, with a total conviction that if, if these values were implemented in legislation, if these values were followed by a culture and a society, the common good would thrive. What he does is, is focuses on and implements the most basic gospel values. You know, uh, that, that of mercy, for instance. Um, what is the good news if not that our merciful God has sent us a savior? There is a word that would, I, I think, characterize his papacy. It, it, it's actually what he chose as his uh, bishop's motto. He held it as a cardinal, and he has it now as pope. Uh, uh, by showing mercy, he was chosen. Uh, miserando atque eligendo. And uh, so mercy is, is uh, at the heart of the gospel. And it has certainly been the heart of, of Francis's ministry, both as a bishop, I'm sure as a priest, as a bishop, and now as, as the pope. So, so when, we, when say, we say he's radical, I think what he does is focuses on the very basics and then applies them to the social setting, the cultural setting, economic setting. Um, and, and, and sometimes we become very comfortable with uh, being a little off-center from the gospel that we have from Christ. And I think uh, Francis is simply applying the very basic values of the kingdom of God and saying, look, here's what we know. Let's, let's apply this to issues such as poverty, uh, such as um, uh, immigration, uh, human dignity. He focuses on a value and, and lifts that value. Now, if it happens to be a political party who takes the opposite stance, he, I, I don't see him as saying the GOP, you're wrong. He, he, again, he's not invasive in American politics. It'd be very interesting to see what he says who Congress assembled uh, in, in Washington. Well, the issue sh of immigration, what, it's based on, once again, that fundamental church teaching on the, the dignity of every human person and people who have to leave their homeland for fear of their lives or, or live there under tremendous oppression. Um, that's an offense against human dignity. And, and so he's going to hold up uh, reasonable immigration policies that protect individuals and families.